everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about trying to personalise the inside of the California. So um, we all know it's a bit grey to say the least. Previously on our old T6 we had some bunting up here. Just little flags, probably about four inches, uh, little triangles. But I fancy doing something a little bit different on this one. Um, we've also tried little battery powered fairy lights and things using uh, 3M sticky books but what I saw this time we had um, in the house something called uh, cotton ball rice from something called cable and cotton and pop them in and buy over now. but these come in sets of 20 lights or 36 lights and I had a set of 20 kicking about at home and they use these things over the little LED lights so this was the colour scheme I had on the ones in the house they arrive is the set being separate to the balls so they have a little hole in them and a little slit and you push the LED light through and the LED lights actually like a little kind of coin shape that goes through it and then they sit on there um, as a ball set so I spent the other night taking all of these off uh, pretty much destroyed my cuticles so most of them unfortunately are now pretty much destroyed with another cut in them like this one so I probably won't end up reusing them they're not massively expensive but it's the first time I've had a go at taking one set apart and creating another but I just fancy a different colours looking through the cable and cotton website they you can just go on there and buy whatever colour cotton balls that you want you can buy the lights um, in the size that you want I think they do want it's even bigger than the 36 so I think a massive chain of them uh, but they also come up with some ideas as to colour schemes and I found one that they called Be Brighton Beach Huts, I think it was, and I thought that'll go great with the rug uh, and the colour scheme that we've got going there. So I bought the balls and like I said, I spent last night trying to feed them onto the light train, which didn't take that long actually. Putting them on is a damn sight easier than taking them off. And I also treated myself to a little USB dimmer switch, which I'm quite looking forward to using. So I've kind of tried to mix them up well enough this is them on that chain now putting together so we've got white pink blue red yellow and green making that kind of beach vibe and this is the little dimmer switch that comes along here i think this costs about five pounds so you've got to put the usb a into it actually usb a out on off switch is a dimmer and we'll try and sort of hook them up along here again i'll use those little 3 amp hooks um, it's a little bit too long as a chain to do it as 20 in a row you'd end up with them practically in front of the driver um, which I can't imagine will I be particularly impressed with so what I'm going to do is try and double them up probably tape them together just a little bit and then try and hang them on here and try and get them kind of equidistant between there and there something like that so I've now unpacked them from that box and you can see it's quite a long chain of them. It's about two metres long. I think it is about 10 centimetres between each of the lights. And you can see there just how neatly they push in. See that the cable coming out and then back in and the little lights just in there as well. I did test them as well before we brought them back to the van to make sure that they were working. Um, and you can see here we get quite a long lead as well to be able to plug them in switch on that lead as well which will obviously become defunct when we use that dimmer switch and the USB plug at the end. So I think what we're going to have to try and do is double it up so we've just got that one metre sort of between here and here which will give them quite a nice sort of jazzy jazzy vibe to it as we double them up. So probably you'll have to come back to us once I've fiddled about with this a little bit. Probably tape them up possibly maybe a little bit twine around it or something like that to be able to then just hang it from the hooks but we'll see and obviously I need to get some hooks into place as well but I'm not entirely sure you can be too interested in sitting there watching me stick some hooks onto the side of the van so uh, come back to us and, uh, and we'll see how it's going. Much wrestling with them and trying to kind of twine them up together I think we've just decided that a good old bit of sellotape, sorry I'm not giving you the finger there, a good old bit of sellotape um, just to hold the couple of bits of wire together is probably the best option to be honest so I'm just going to go down the line and just pop those together and then we'll figure out how's best to actually pop them up into some hooks up there. So in order to put these lights up we thought about using these 3M hand strips. Now I think most people have probably used these to put Christmas decorations up and all those kind of things and 
they're really popular for people who live in like rented accommodation and things because they can be removed really easily without any glue marks or anything like that and obviously in our amazing new cali the last thing we want to do is end up like drilling things or sticking stuff we're never going to get off so these are the small ones we're probably going to use just one wire on uh, here to be able to hang these up uh, probably four or five i should think something like that and the way that these work is this little sticky pad which comes with each of the hooks um, and you put the pad on stick it on then you have to leave it uh, i think 60 minutes i think it is yeah you have to leave it for 60 minutes uh, just to set on the surface and then we'll be able to string these up and see how they look and I'll probably put a couple down here as well just so that's where the USB socket is just so we can uh, tidy all the cables and everything up and up the top here you can see that we've got the relevant fixings in place so uh, hopefully once we've just gone inside got a drink and let those just set properly we should be able to hang these up and see what they're like. I'm really, really impressed with these and I loved how they looked last night. It's really, really jazzed the fan up as far as I'm concerned. So I'd be really interested to hear your hints and tips for how you've managed to jazz up your van and give it some individuality. So you can see here we've sort of pinned everything in, made it look a little bit nicer, tidied everything up so no rattles as we're driving along. I'm really happy. So thanks ever so much for watching. If you like this kind of content then please do like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching California Time.